Hello friends, welcome to this automation of Active Directory series and here we will start with our concept and our concept is very simple. We need to create two Python files. One is Active Directory client and one is Active Directory bot and the bot will execute commands on our Windows server and Active Directory client will send some command and client can be anywhere where it will be on your laptop or desktop or anywhere in your network which can access your Windows Server. Okay, so let's just start and create our Active Directory bot. And before start with that, we need to create a threaded server. And to create a threaded server, I'm gonna use a library which is RPYC. RPYC, you can download it uh, through uh, pip and all the installation method you can find here and download and install where you can just use pip install rpyc and it will install in your system okay so rpyc is a library which we're gonna use i'm gonna use for remote python call and create a threaded server so let's just start our ide pycharm and create a new file called let's just name adbot Okay, so here we go, AD board. Let me zoom it so you can clearly see what I'm gonna type. Import RPYC. Very, very interesting library. You, there are a lot of possibilities that you can do with this library. So first, we're gonna create uh, a monitor service. So let's just start with the class first. And in that class, I will name it monitor service because that gonna monitor our our server commands okay and in that service we need to provide rpyc services rpyc service sorry capital s service okay then we need to provide two functions here which is one is on connect what you want to do and on disconnect what you're going to do so let's just create two functions on connect and these functions are actually inside rpyc services so on connect i'm gonna pass for now and on disconnect i will pass it for now okay to see uh, on connect and on disconnect what's going on i would like to import one library which is date time and in that time i will import uh, our current time so let's just create a date time variable and in that variable i will use date time dot date time dot now Okay, so this line will give me the date and time of exactly when we execute this command. So we will just uh, instead of pass, I will just use a print. Okay, and in that print, maybe I can use something like something like connected, connected sorry, on, and then we provide. Uh, this date time there format we need to say format and date time make sure your variable name will be there okay so with what this line will do it will show you whenever a service connect whenever a client connect to this server it will show you hey this is connected on this time and the same will be happen on this connection Let's just use this same on the disconnection. Uh, this disconnect on and the date time will be there. Okay. So also I would like to use a new line. The reason is there are multiple commands. Sometime when you pass, then it will looks cleaner. Okay. 
So we just created these three, uh, this class, monitor service class, and now we need to see this with, uh, let's like just execute and see what's going on, how we can execute this on connect and on disconnect. And for that, we need to import a threaded server. And where's the threaded server is? You can import from rpyc dot utils dot server import threaded server here we go here we have this threaded server that we will execute our service monitor service through this server okay so let's just uh, create a main and in that main let me just create a threaded server so let's just give a name t and threaded server in that server you need to pass class class we already created and the name is monitor service also you need to provide one more argument here which is port number let me just give the port number default port number of rpyc which is 19961 okay so now our threaded server we just add it here and we need to start this to start just use t dot start okay so that's it let's just run and see what gonna happen hmm nothing so you just created a server but you haven't connect with somewhere else so you need to connect also from somewhere else so for testing of this thing how it is working let's just create a new python file and just name it with uh, ad client okay so we just created a new python file here and here we want to see our our this threaded server is running and is working or not so let's just run this ad bot again sorry it's already running here but it's not showing anything so let's just create a ad ad client py and in that you just import rpyc again and in there you need to create a connection and in that connection you say rpyc dot connect so here you need to provide two arguments one is the ip address of your uh, server rpyc server where it's running and the port number so uh, right now it's running in our local host let's just provide local host and the port number our same one nine nine six one okay so we provided these two connection is ready and we need to see one more thing here the connection should run okay so let's just start with this okay and here you see one thing and you see there's two messages there which is you connected and date time and disconnected so every time when you do when you execute that and you will see your time is visible here so that means your threaded server is running absolutely fine so let's proceed to our next video where i will show you how you can create a expose method where you can execute some custom functions with threaded server right now it just on connect and on disconnect you can just execute few commands here but we need to create a custom function so let's proceed to our next video